hi guys what is up so this is a very very up close video because i'm not doing it there let me tell you the pettiest thing i did in the ending of actually it's the ending of 2019 I'm, I'm a nice person but when you touch me you touch me so keep in mind i'd had a very long day i'd had i, I, I woke up around i left the house around nine day basically like i was going for a nine to five room. I, I only had coffee and I had a packed day so I didn't have time to eat at all I was just doing what I had to do to put food on the table that is what I was doing so my last client of the day I, I've, I've been working with this client for the past five months and at the other time and um, what are they calling it but um, she's not she's not like a young like she's not she's not like my mate or something she's a lot smoother than me so the thing is we are not close it's still a lot professional so but i went to her house for a meeting and we finished talking but it was the last one of the day so it was around six or so it was around six and i was going to call my uber she had some place to go i was going to call my uber and it's well you know how rush our time is now like everybody's trying to get home from this place to the other place somebody's trying to do this like so basically if you have um, if you're stuck in a place that is not in the central of, I mean, you, if you know jet traffic, you know how it's not actually massive traffic, but during that rush, rush hour time, if you're not in the center or some place, it's very good, it's going to be very difficult for you to get back up because Uber will be canceling on you. I was very, very, very hungry. Uber kept canceling on me as she was leaving. She was like, uh, like God sent her, she was just like, ah, uh because -uh, she has the chef I was cooking in the kitchen and I could, sm I could smell the aroma of. It, you know how to uh, enhance your hunger. <laughs> hey, I've suffered. <laughs> I didn't say anything because you know we were like that. So as she was leaving, she was, um, she was like, Ah, come to have chima na, like chima na. The haka nengaki omuta ani. She was like, Bring her food now. People start saying you are stingy. That's how you usually do when people come to this house. You not give them food. Give her food now. He was like, Okay, man, no problem. And then she drove. I was like, Hey, thank God. I was really excited. I was going to eat at least. I waited. This guy now brought drink. He brought a drink and a cup of a cup of some weird ass um, glass cup with oh, with ice in it. I don't even like. Anyway, that's not the point. I don't even like cold drinks, right? That's not the point. I need that food. She said, "Bring me food. <laughs> give me food. This food that she said she give me." He did not do that. So he brought the drink. I, I was like, okay, let me not. Maybe I'm over here. Maybe it's, you know how people do now. They give you a drink and then they will not bring the food. So I was like, let me. Ah. I was waiting for this food. I was waiting for this food. And the smell, it's like they were adding some other spices in the food. The smell kept increasing. Maybe it was my hunger head, but the smell was just increasing and it was so good. The aroma was coming. And I was in the living room. I wasn't far from the kitchen. My, my friend, my dear. His food did not come. As he was coming out of the house, of the place, uh, he was coming from the kitchen and then he came into the living room to pick something up and then he saw me. I think it was the way I looked at him, I was just like this, you know. So he was like, um, do you need more eyes? Do you need something? I was like, no, I don't need more eyes. I am here. I, 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 I just drank this drink. You, I, you know, I'm just here waiting for food. That is why uh, my Uber is canceling on me. So I had her say, You should bring me food. So, I, you know, I'm just waiting for food. He was like, Oh, okay, yeah, that is true. Right. I've brought, I've, I've, I, I, I have literally told you that I was waiting for food. It's not food that you should bring. Shouldn't you just bring this food? For God's sake. Augustine did not bring the food. Exactly. I waited, I waited, I waited for a lot of minutes. No food. No food was nowhere to be found. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'd have the, I don't know where I'll find you, but I will. This, this mugu, because... <laughs> This wickedness you did for me, I will do it. I will find the way to do it to you. I, I don't know, it was my petty self. I just needed to. And he did not bring this food. And Uber kept cancelling on me. Like, no Uber will come and take me to where I want to eat food. No Uber will come and take me anywhere. So there is this guy that was going to leave. But the problem is, 
um, he was going to leave the house. He has a car. He was going to leave the house and go somewhere. But the thing is, he's not like he's a, he's not a driver or something. It's not like like that is his job. It is his own car. And you know how guys are. I usually don't like. I do. I usually don't like it because I was already hungry. And guys would want to talk to you. They would want to have a conversation. They would want to have your number. And I was in no mood. I needed food. This guy did not bring food that that was that was earmarked for me according to her. I'm still mad about that food. I know it by the way. Clearly, you can see it. Hey God, I don't know why he did that too. Does he? Would it reduce from his share? In my head, I was like, would this food reduce from the share of the food that you are going to eat? Is that what the problem is? Because I need answers. Is it not food? <laughs> Give me food. Anyway, fast forward. So. But I mean, I had no other option because I was hungry, and this guy wasn't bringing the food. So when the guy um, said he would, he would take me home, uh, he would take me to where I was going, I was like, okay, sure, thank you. I was just praying, and he was really, really kind in that he didn't talk to me. Like he just we entered the car. Where are you going? I told him I was going. We entered in Google Map, and that was it. Like he didn't. He very, he was very good. Like he didn't even, he wasn't, he was better than even Uber because some Uber guys won't talk to you. And I was so grateful because I was so hungry and I could snap like this. You know what I did? After that one, I went straight to, to Oje Uleba. I ate my amala. I ate my amala with so much, ag with aggressiveness. They brought the amala. I looked at it and there were a lot of, you know, the, the Oje Uleba in Gariki now. There were a lot of people there. I sat down. I removed because I was carrying. I told you I had a long day. I was carrying my backpack. I removed it. Went, washed my hands. I told the person bring their mala. He, I, I, I paid for them and I brought it myself. Sorry, I, I placed it. I was I, some guy was even trying to talk to me. I was like, hey, hey lol. As you saw me, I was eating the amala. I finished that. I, like I wiped the plate clean. I ate my meat. I finished. I drank water. I said, Alhamdulillah. You think I'll forget, I'll forget that guy that did that thing to me? I did not. Uh -uh. I went to this event that I was invited to. So um, the the guy the guy there was trying to hire somebody, and I don't know, maybe somebody suggested the chef. And the chef was there. He was there for I don't know, like going to cook some stuff, and you know, whomever wins. It was because there are a lot of um, other influences there. So you know, whomever like whomever people would seem to enjoy the food would get the job. The guy was there. <laughs> And the event, I was, I know the person that is trying to actually, the person that was trying to hire the person is my friend. So I know this person. <laughs> so this guy tried to form me. Should I just teach that? Just even, I wouldn't have even said anything because if you, had, if you hadn't spoken to me, but he was like, ah, Satya, I know how. Yeah, even that, it was, it was, it was, wasn't it like a last to die? So <laughs> I said, he was like, ah, but, um, but you know now, you know I'm a very good chef. I mean, you know, so, you, you know, say, madame, they talk, they talk about. I was like, me, I've never tried your food, though. You know now, even that day, I was waiting for food. Did you bring the food? He did not bring the food. So clearly, me, I don't know. And please, um, I only saw you, I think it was once, but very briefly, you just said hi to me. So I, you did not bring that food that, that day now. I, how could I, I really know. I don't know how your food is, honest. Like, no, 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 let me bring the food. I was like, no, 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 I'm full, though. I'm not, I'm <laughs> I'm full. Don't worry. My, please now, let me bring the food so you try it. I mean, even that day I was waiting for you. I was going to bring the food. Now when I when I came around, I was like, you were like, trying to bring the food. You not say anything. You didn't bring the food for almost for more than an hour. I was sitting down there. You were telling me that uh, I was giving myself hope in my head. That was what I was saying. Anyway, I said no. He was like, ah, but let me bring the food because he saw that he saw the way I was talking with the person and he saw that we were very close. So he was trying to get me to talk to the person. I was like, no. Brother, this is my time to do you shake it. So <laughs> that was how I told the person that the food was I don't. Eh, I mean, I prefer the other guy's food, and that was how it ended. He didn't get the job. I'm happy. Anyway, that is. <laughs> he has a job, so I can at least not feel too bad because I mean I know he has other jobs. But that guy pissed me off. People that don't give you food annoy me. Anyway, that is what happened. Bye bye.